Attica, this is Robin from Sciatica Bootcamp and today's question is how do I stop my sciatica? How do I stop my sciatica? We've been talking about this on this course for many many times and different ways to do it, okay? So this is a bit of a summation of everything, okay? First off guys, you need to walk, okay? 40 minutes first thing in the morning, never ever miss it. Seven days a week, I don't care if it's snowing outside, outside raining, you know, whatever. You need to get out. To walk that's the main thing and if you tell me you know well I can't walk 40 minutes blah 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 then you walk 20 minutes to begin with and 10 minutes if that doesn't work and you work yourself up to work for so you can walk 40 minutes first thing in the morning seven days a week you should be doing this for three months consistently to, to, to get the results okay that, that we're looking for also make sure that you get a good pair of shoes okay when you're not doing this so so you don't get all kinds of other problems with your feet stretch your your hamstrings that's the the muscles in the back of your leg and also your calf muscle if you don't know how to stretch these muscles please go online on YouTube and just see simple stretches for your hamstring muscle and your calf muscle okay that's number, step number one. Step number two, you should be standing at work, okay? A lot of people that are having office jobs, now desk jobs, okay? And they're sitting down all day. And that is killing your back, okay? So you need to get a standing desk that you can stand and sit down, okay? You should start off to stand up like 30 minutes first thing in the morning to your morning coffee while you're checking your emails, okay? After lunch, okay? While you had your lunch, you should stand up for 30 to 40 minutes. And then in the afternoon, before you go home, you know, and you're checking your emails there, you should you should be standing up for 30 to 40 minutes, okay? That's the two things, two ma major things you should be doing, okay? And also, you should keep away from, number three, is keep away from stupid shit, okay? If you're going to the gym and you're really like lifting a lot of weights, like you're doing the, uh, the uh, leg press you know you're doing deadlifts you're doing all of these crazy exercises in the gym you know keep away from that okay keep away from from uh, all heavy stuff all all heavy weight training okay if you're doing a lot of twisting and turning if you play golf if you play tennis if you do yoga okay keep away from that for a while okay for three months and keep on f just just walking and doing your core stability exercises that you can also go online there's there are apps out there and there, there's very simple stuff that you can train your core but not nothing hardcore very very gentle to your body okay and if you need additional help you should definitely visit a physiotherapist that can help you doing these um, core stability exercises also guys with the stress okay uh, stress like we talked about in in previous clips can definitely uh, get on on your mind you know and and really mess you up okay and I, I mean, this clip is way too short to, to tell you all the stuff you should be, do with stress, okay? But one of the things that you should do is, is to, I would put down on a piece of paper all the stuff that you are afraid of and that is causing you stress, okay? And then you think about them one by one, you know, and, and just think, uh, worst case scenario, what happens if I lose my job, you know? What happens if I leave this relationship? What happens, you know? And if you think, think think through that and you put down some some notes regarding worst case scenario and you're okay with that that's going to reduce your stress quite a bit okay so this is a crash course has been a crash course how you stop your sciatica okay so give them them a go you know and guys if you haven't been out walking this morning i'm actually quite pissed off you know because i've been on this course now i've been talking to you guys for quite a while i'm telling you all the stuff to do you know i can dish out the medicine but you need to take the medicine so please turn this clip off get your shoes on and go out and walk okay take care guys and guys remember you're just one step away from healing your back pain